Hello everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to read uh, S6 uh, EMS ECUs from Scania trucks uh, with CAS uh, version 2. I mean the clone one. So I already connected the ECU uh, via via the probe pens right here. I need to check it uh, via the pinout. Uh, I need to use the probe pens uh, together with the crocodiles because only with the probe pen you can't uh, reach enough, uh, I would say, contact. So uh, only with the probe pen it won't work, uh, at least for me. So I choose this DIY solution, how to get the right contact uh, to keep everything working during the reading. To not uh, uh, let's say cancel the process. So, uh, oh, okay. Just one more thing. Uh, the NJ type or NJ code is DT twelve zero six, and all the numbers you have here. If you want to check. So uh, I open the the case suite. Uh, here uh, I have to choose the uh, this one. The only option here, so series R. Okay, some info. Now uh, I have to choose uh, can because uh, I have connected the can option, the can ECU. Uh, I will do ID at first. So, just this, and now we should see that we are working. So that's it. Yeah, so we have it here. All the information. You can save it. I already did this test read and test ID. Okay, so that's it. And now the reading. And we are running. Okay, just one more ID. Just one more operation, one more verifying. And now it should work. So it's hard to see, but we are reading. And now it will take about six minutes to read the ECU. So we are here in the process. Uh, I just want to show you the pinout for the for the wiring I have right here. Uh, uh, you need to, to choose the connector side B. This is A, this is B. Uh, from if you if you look uh, on the ECU from the top, it means that the B side is on the left usually. Uh, if we have like more more diagram wirings or or some more documentation uh, for the S6 ECUs, you will see it uh, on the first on the first view. So you have to connect just the uh, ignition ground 24 volts uh, can low and can high, and that's it. I prefer to to have uh, over the 25 volts and you should have the uh, something about uh, 0 0.2 maybe a little more uh, of the amperes that will go uh, right to the ECU. If you are lower 
uh, then your connection is is wrong uh, or you are not in the in the tight touch so that was my problem uh, at the first time so that's it uh, also there should be possibility to read uh, this ECU via OBD but I have it here on bench so that's the reason why I choose this process okay so we will wait a little minute more so last five seconds okay I'm going to save I already have here the first read so I will just say it uh, in another name And well, that's it. Yeah, it will do another lock, just for the sure. At least I hope so. <laughs> and well, that's pretty it. You have the file here with the size. So, well, that's pretty it. So, hope that everything's clear for you and see you in another videos.